when this home came on the market, we weren't looking for a home at the time, but we would tour the neighborhoods and we just kind of like grew this passion for mid-century architecture. We are in a 1955 uh, Ralph Haver, mid-century modern uh, track home. Uh, Ralph Haver was an architect in Phoenix from 1945 to around 1980. And uh, during that time, you know, he worked on schools and churches and did so many track homes through Arizona and uh, New Mexico, Colorado. I think there's roughly 20,000 track homes that he built during that time, but it was in that post-war era. He moved here in 1945. He was in World War II. And these track homes are really about like optimism and progression. These homes were kind of like in an affordable 12 to 1400 square foot block construction. Clara Story windows were some of the, you know, the main features that we really got drawn to when we did, you know, the original walkthrough of the home when we decided to, to put an offer in and purchase it. Our realtor at the time called us up and was like, hey, a Ralph Haver came on the market. Do you want to go walk through it? And we weren't looking to, to purchase a home at the time. When we toured it, we were just like outside and we were just like, let's put an offer in, you know, and see what happens. But what's interesting is that it, this was on the market for almost a year. And we don't, we were like, how is it not scooped up? But it's because it has four additions. And so it was a mess. It looked like a mess. And and I don't know how we saw the potential of it and like other investors or someone didn't, but it, it sat for a long time. So there had been a few renovations in the neighborhood prior to us um, purchasing this home. And that's kind of what like gave us some inspiration, but our realtor was very well connected with Joel Contreras. And that's where we got like super inspired to um, go through the whole renovation process and basically gut it down to its studs and, and kind of bring it back to its glory of what it was and it was originally built. Yeah, so when we bought this house, we knew we wanted to talk to Joel, but we didn't even know that we could like afford a designer or anything like that. But Joel really worked with us because he was so excited to design a Haver house because I think it was one of his first. The process of renovating the home has like evolved. So has the neighborhoods and, or the neighborhood that we're in. And we'll be walking down the street at night and we'll see a neighbor and we'll spark up conversation. And they'll be telling us about the renovation that they're doing in the backyard or like what they currently did to their kitchen. It's definitely like a community that's brought together through the architecture and design and everyone you know, kind of shares that same relationship to, to the history of the home. Yeah, I do think it's interesting though because when we do on when we do go on like neighborhood home tours, you, you see the syndrome of the grass is always greener, and when you go to other people's homes, you don't see the imperfections. You see like the big picture, and you're just like, oh, I love this, I love this, I love. It. But then when people come to our house, hearing what they say about our house, it like is refreshing to us. To me, it's a conscious practice of every day appreciating what you have. I think just like being present, right? As much as we can, which obviously can be hard at times, but you know, being really present with all of the spaces that we've created to really enjoy them and like soak it in. And I think for me, that's been like, after a long day of work and just coming home and like chilling out in the backyard or like by the fireplace or like having good conversation or in the living room, it's definitely a game changer for me. We're always drawn to the spaces that are timeless, but modern timeless, where it was done 20 years ago and it's so modern that you it doesn't even age. And so, I mean, there's aspects of our house that might be a little trendy, but ultimately to not know it was built five years ago in that certain trend, I think that's what we like. Yeah. We don't want to be put into that box. I definitely think the quality of our life has improved living in this home. I mean, getting up in the morning, grabbing a coffee, like sitting on the couch, watching the sunrise and come through the windows and just creating super cool moments in the house, special to us. Like we'll catch ourselves walking out the front door, go grab food down the street or something. We're like, dude, we live in this amazing home. We're so grateful and thankful that you know, we get to experience like a piece of Phoenix 
architectural history and in a way that suits our lifestyle. And I think it's just been a blessing for us to live in here for the time that we have. We really feel like our lives are art, right? The way you dress, your home, what you drive. And it's not to say that you need the best and you need the latest thing, but everything is an expression of creativity. And that's what's so important about a home, in our opinion. That's why we love our home, is because it's an expression of us.